Hi guys, and welcome to Total Technic. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove your bonnet from your Audi A6, S6 or RS6. This is the C5, either the Saloon or the Avant models. So let's take a look at what's involved. So one of the uh, little niggles that we've got to get around for uh, removing the bonnet is of course we've got the, uh, the washer system, uh, which is kind of an integral part of the bonnet. Now uh, if we have a look here, uh, we've got this uh, cabling and these two little electrical connectors. Uh, that run, uh, as you can see, they actually run inside the bonnet. So they go inside the bonnet there and they run along to the corner. They come back out of the bonnet there. They follow the hinge down behind a couple of clips and they disappear off to, to where it is that they need to go. So obviously we've got to disconnect uh, this stuff. So we've got the uh, electrical connectors that need to be disconnected and also of course um, the uh, the fluid. This is the pipe that brings the uh, the fluid in. So we've got to disconnect that as well. So we've got a li little uh, bit of disconnection work. Nothing that's too uh, strenuous. We've got to disconnect these and, and feed them back out of the holes. Uh, to get them out of the way uh, and that will allow us to um, to then kind of unbolt the um, the bonnet from the car and actually remove it but that that's your first stage right there so let's start with the uh, little electrical connections uh, if you pinch the tabs uh, front and back give it a bit of a wobble it should sounds being a little bit stubborn it should pop off So like that, and I'm going to do exactly the same uh, to the second one uh, just over here as well. So get both of those disconnected. So next we're going to um, disconnect the uh, main water inlet. And what you'll find is the electrics come in from one side and the water comes in from the other. Uh, as you can see here, we, this is the pipe that actually passes through the, uh, the bonnet. And this is most definitely your water connection. But if you look on the other side, the, uh, the one that comes out here, has actually got the electrical connectors in it. So you've got one electrical connector that connects straight to there, the other one that's going to feed through the middle of this and comes out there, and likewise this one attaches here. You've got a little T-piece and that will go across to the uh, the second one over here. So the uh, the obvious point to disconnect the, uh, the water one is right here. So we'll do that next. So we managed to get that one disconnected, that's the main water feed just there. So now we're going to concentrate on the electrical feed. Uh, but as we can see, we've got one uh, connector that goes there, the other one that goes through the centre of this. So the next stage is to open up this centre section. So two types of clips. Uh, this type here have just got a little lift up latch, like so. So just uh, release those two off, and then the other two are a little bit more complicated. Uh, so I'm going to grab a, a mini flathead screwdriver for these. So they've got a little catch on them. Lift that up. And that, that whole thing will come off. They, have like, they do have like a little plastic hinge in the middle, like so. And just a little plastic catch uh, on the front, like that. So dead simple. So again, remove uh, both of these, one on each end. So with the, uh, the two end connectors uh, removed, turn it around to the bit that's got the slot in it. And pull out the, uh, the electrical connection. Here is actually it's wrapped around. I'll peel that off to show you. It's actually wrapped around uh, this water pipe. I'll just get that out of the way. Pop that back on for the moment. And as you can see, uh, that one's now completely free. Next up, we've got these little uh, foam uh, inserts. They have a little slot in them, like so. And we've done two halves. Uh, so just get that out of the way and we'll do the same on the uh, on the outer corner uh, just over there as well. So get rid of both of those uh, on both sides. Okay, so when you remove the bonnet, uh, this pipe essentially is going to stay with the car. So what we'll do is we're going to pull this back through. It's got some uh, 
uh, insulation on it. Like so. So that's that removed to that, that point. And unfortunately, as you can see, uh, this is down to age. Uh, when it gets this kind of old, this stuff is almost kind of turning to dust. I don't know whether you guys can see that. It's, it's literally literally crumbling away in my fingers. There's, there's nothing to it. I mean, this uh, this stuff's probably 15 years old now. Uh, but you can renew this quite easily. And if you, if, you can't, if you can't get the actual proper Audi stuff, you could easily put, you know, like... Um, normal kind of pipe lagging from you know from uh, central heating pipes or, or anything really all this uh, all this foam does is just a little bit of uh, insulation remember it's got to fit in this hole so you can't have anything too big uh, but all of this is a little bit of foam insulation just to help help prevent uh, the water freezing on this section uh, where it's uh, kind of the, the most exposed to the elements as it were inside the the top edge of the bonnet but that's all that that is uh, but don't be surprised if yours is um, uh, perished like this as well you may have to replace it you either with the uh, the proper Audi stuff or anything you can kind of put together that's foam it doesn't have to be uh, anything fancy next up we've got this little uh, plastic bracket this can be a bit of a pain they actually just snap onto the um, the bolt as I'll show you in a minute they can be quite tricky, tricky to get off there we go that just pops off like so and uh, like I said literally if you guys can see that it's one of those kind of compression things where you Kind of snaps in on both sides so when you come to refit that you just literally just line it up and push it onto the end of the thread and it will kind of snap into into place so get rid of that okay and last but not least uh, we've got another little plastic one here you don't need to remove it if you just move that that section just undo the pipe and as you can see that pipe can now stay in the car so we're going to leave that in situ uh, when we come to remove the bonnet. Uh, so that's this side finished and we're going to do the, a similar process on the electrical connectors for the opposite side. Okay so we basically repeat the, uh, the process for the uh, electrical connections. Um, now obviously these electrical connections are uh, a little bit bigger than the pipe that we just removed a minute ago. So just take your time with it. To, uh, to refit these, that's the electrical connector removed. Uh, when you come to refit these, uh, what you need is something uh, kind of flexible, um, like uh, they actually make special special tools uh, that do this for various DIY uh, projects, plumbing and that kind of thing. You need anything that's kind of flexible that you can poke down there, that you can just pull out of there, tie a piece of string or tape this onto the end of it and then feed the string through and let that draw this kind of back into, into situ. Um, but I'll leave you to, uh, to have a play with that. Do some uh, googling if you're unsure, kind of um, how how that kind of basic process works. Uh, but I'm sure you can work work that out for yourselves uh, when you come to refit. And then again, uh, exactly the same as before. Small bracket. Unclip that, move that down, clip that back in, so that's ready to uh, to stay with the car. So the bonnet now is completely free of the uh, water uh, pipe work and the electrical uh, the electrical um, uh, connectors and everything as well. So we're good to go. So having a quick look at the actual uh, hinges uh, for the bonnet itself, uh, as you can see on the on the kind of bonnet side, uh, here's the hinge, and we have these two uh, nuts here, uh, same as identical on both sides. And that's basically the only thing that's holding the uh, the bonnet on is uh, these two nuts uh, in this bracket. So when we remove these, this will allow us to uh, take the whole bonnet away from the car. Now when you do that, uh, one thing to bear in mind is um, if you've got a second person to help you, it's pretty much essential. Um, you, you want one person on one side of the car, one person on the other. Uh, it can be very tricky to do it on your own because it's very heavy. And if you've not done one before, I really wouldn't recommend it. Um, also, uh, you can do it on your own, but bear in mind, obviously, that the wings have, have gone on, on this car. We've already removed those. But normally, the wings will sit quite close to the corner of the um, of the bonnet just there. 
And if you kind of try and do it yourself and, uh, you know, you kind of wobble a little bit, you can kind of uh, bash it into the wings as well. So really what you want is two people, uh, one either side, uh, when we come to the final stage that we'll cover in a minute. Uh, but before we do these, uh, what we're going to do is uh, slacken these off a little bit, but before we remove these, we've also got the other uh, gas left to uh, contend with as well. Um, so let's move on to the next stage. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just crack these nuts off. Uh, I'm not going to uh, undo them, uh, far from it, I'm just going to take the initial kind of uh, crack off of them. Once you've um, moved them off a little bit, if you're lucky, they're often uh, finger tight, um, but these have been painted in situ at the factory, as you can see, so we're going to uh, can take a little bit of strength to, uh, to initially uh, crack them off, and that may prevent it from being un undoable with your fingers, uh, as it is on some other uh, Audi models, but we'll, we'll see how we get on with it. The first thing I'm going to do is just crack that off just a little bit like so. And what I'll do is literally half a turn to one turn, something like that. And that'll do exactly the same on, on the other side. So I've just taken the slack off of uh, all four nuts. So to remove the gas lift for the bonnet, uh, a couple of things before you do this, uh, obviously once this is removed there will be nothing holding the, uh, the bonnet up. So you want to have a second person to hand um, who can obviously hold it up for you. Uh, or alternatively if you haven't got that you want to get some kind of a prop uh, of some kind, piece of wood or something like that that you can kind of jam in there temporarily whilst this is removed. Now obviously you can remove the, this at, at either end. Uh, but the kind of the safer and easier end is to remove the end that's actually attached to the bonnet rather than to the chassis of the car. So that's the, uh, the one that we're going to be focusing on. And when we remove that, we'll take the weight of the bonnet upwards and we will drop this down and that can just kind of lie uh, across the engine bay uh, just for the time being until you disconnect the other end um, once you have your um, bonnet propped up or, or whatever it is that you're trying to do. Uh, so we'll have a little look at the, uh, the fixing on the end here. So the way that these work is essentially on the um, on the bonnet side, you've got this uh, this kind of uh, plate uh, that's, that's kind of bolted on to the body of the car, and on the end of that is a little stem, and on the end of the stem is uh, is a ball, and this part is, is the socket essentially. So it's just, it is you know literally a, a traditional kind of ball and socket kind of a, kind of a thing. Uh, the socket's on the car, sorry, the ball is on the car side, and this uh, this plastic section here is the socket. Now this metal strap that you see going across the centre here, what that does is that actually comes inside, comes around the, around the sides and inside, and that actually fits around the, uh, the ball that's inside. So that stops the whole kind of head coming off, if you like. Once that strap's removed, as you'll see, because that's what we're going to attack in a minute, once you op open that strap up, then this can just slide off of the ball. There's nothing to hold it on the ball. So this thing here is the key to it, this little metal strap, because that's uh, keeping this plastic head attached to that ball. So that's what we need to attack. So first things first, you kind of you can do this with one hand unless you've got the, the other person to kind of help you. What we want to do is, is lift it a little bit just to take a little bit of the um, uh, the pressure off of the uh, the gas lift. You want to get quite a small flathead to screwdriver and just pop that inside and just just work it up. What you what you're hoping to do here. This one wants to come off the end, which they do sometimes there. This is what I'm looking to do. So I'll pop that out on the one side. I just wanted to try and do the same on the other if I can. Like so. Yeah, I've got that. Try not to move it out completely because they can be quite hard to kind of snap into the plastic grooves again. It doesn't really matter if if, you, if it does come out of place. Uh, but if you can, can, try and get it so it finishes roughly in place. And like I say, I'll just take the, uh, the strain off of the gas lift. I'll just pop that off like so. So as you can see, this is the uh, the ball on the kind of the end of the stem, uh, if you like. If I drop that down a little bit, uh, you can see uh, there's the uh, the socket uh, in there as well. Um, and uh, what I'll do is I'll show you at the end of the video how these uh, these kind of metal clips uh, fit in and kind of secure the ball. So for the time being, we're just going to drop that down, and then we're going to um, uh, focus on the uh, on the other end. So what you want to do is uh, when you remove the other end is obviously you want to get someone to hold this uh, bonnet up for you or get a prop in so you can work safely on, on the bottom half as well. Uh, so we'll, we'll get that done. Uh, if you're removing your bonnet of course you don't need to uh, remove that. You can literally just leave that there until you come to refit your bonnet. Uh, that's not a, not a problem. But if you are removing the gas uh, strut I'll show you the other end as well. 
Now on the opposite end, the end that's attached uh, to the, uh, the chassis of the car, it's exactly the same principle. So you've got this, uh, this metal strap again, which you want to uh, kind of prise out to take the strain off the ball. And then if I twist that like so, uh, that'll just twist it off. So you've got the, uh, the ball there and the socket here. If we look down in the, uh, the end of this one quickly, uh, you can see these are the uh, the sides of the metal. You can see them on, on either side. So the ball sits in there, and these these are the bits of metal. Uh, if I just manipulate this strap a little bit, you'll, you hopefully you can see those uh, opening and closing as I do that there. Uh, so that that strap sits around the ball, and that's what stops this whole thing coming away uh, from the ball. Um, so that's it. In, in, in essence, that's it. That is your uh, your gas uh, strut completely removed and ready to go. Another quick note on the uh, on the uh, brackets here. Uh, as you can probably uh, see, the bottom one uh, goes kind of essentially through one of these types of holes. So the top one's actually in a in a slot there. Uh, so this gives us a couple of options um, with regards to uh, removing removing this. Um, you what we can do is just remove the two nuts completely and just lift the, lift the whole thing off or what we can do is uh, release the bottom one then release this one a little, little bit more it doesn't have to be completely taken off lean the whole thing back so that this uh, pops through and then we can just slide it off at the end as well uh, so you've got a couple of options there when you come to do it uh, also another little thing uh, when you come to refit it just at the end there you, do, you can see that on the video just on the end, just there, you've got these uh, little markers and that'll help you um, get the correct uh, bonnet alignment and things when you come to, to refit that as well. Uh, so it's just another little thing. So let's get it off. So we have the, uh, the strut removed. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of the bottom nuts. And like I mentioned before, if you've got uh, someone who can help you do this, by far the, uh, the easier uh, option. So now I've done that, it's just the, uh, the top nuts and then, uh, like I mentioned uh, previously uh, what we have on these is the top, the top nuts are in a, uh, in a groove uh, so what I'm hoping to do is I'm going to slacken those off now when you, when you do this you've got to be careful that the whole bonnet doesn't kind of jump off especially if you're lifting it higher than the, uh, the bracket kind of normally sits the whole thing can spring off the back so you do have to be a little bit careful with it uh, but what essentially you're going to do Start snapping these off a little bit. Don't undo them completely, but enough so that you can get the angle and that in just a minute when we, uh, when we change the angles. And the same on this side. Hoping that I can do is so I'll draw this back down a little bit. I'm going to lift the uh, the bottom out, and then hopefully slide the whole thing forward. So give this a little try. Like so. So that is. That is your bonnet. Yep. There we go. That's your bonnet completely removed and good to go.